Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I have a beer by The Brewery, or in this instance, an offshoot of The Brewery, their sour arm called Brewery Teru, uh, or Teru, I don't know, haven't quite figured that out, not French or anything. But anyway, this is, this is their Sourento. It is a sour blonde ale aged in oak barrels with lemon zest and vanilla beans. It is 6.1% alcohol by volume, and obviously... Brewery te- the Brewery slash Brewery Teru is out of uh, Placentia, California. So, they always have nice classy labels. There you go. I am going to, this is a, well, this is a little bit of a challenge today because currently I am uh, burning uh, frozen pizza. So, the smell of burnt cheese in my nose, I'm going to have to overcome that to do this. Let's see how I do. As soon as I pop that, I could smell some, some of the vanilla just wafting out along with a lemony tartness. So, a um, little bit hazy, uh, very yellow, a little bit of an orangish tinge to that yellow, nice big white head to it. Ooh. I can smell the vanilla, which is really... There is a kick of sourness in there, and it's a lemony sourness, uh, and there's a little bit of a bitterness like a, you know, like the lemon zest in there as well. There's like an aggressive kick of that lemony sourness that's really fast, and then it comes back, and it's, there's some of that zest, and it's encapsulated in like a smooth, like kind of, um, kind of a creamy vanilla note on the nose. It smells really interesting, really good. Yeah, those are all the smells I'm getting out of it. Tad bit of a funk on the tartness. Oh. Okay, so I don't know if I've ever said this on these videos before, but I know on the actual podcast, which you can check out at BrutalBattle.com or on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, stuff like that, um, I've made comments about beers where flavors... Every time I take a sip, it's like they're encapsulated in another flavor. The sourness, which is actually more of a tartness on here, and the bitterness from the lemon zest, every sip, it's encapsulated in that creamy vanilla aspect. It's really nice. It's really nice. And there's a little bit of that kind of like funky tartness in there as well. Um, you get a little bit of it lingering on the end, uh, the sourness, but you also get a, a lot of that vanilla just kind of like laying softly on your tongue at the same time. Um, it's a very well finessed beer. Uh, I come to expect nothing less from the brewery or brewery too. Um, this is nice. And I feel like this is a beer that isn't too much for people who are just getting into sours necessarily because the oak... And as well as the um, the vanilla beans really kind of take that sourness down a bit. Because I've had other versions of their Sour Blondes, and their Sour Blondes can be pretty freaking sour. This kept well in check. Anyway, thank you so much everyone for checking this out. Thank you the brewery slash brewery Teru for making a nice beer called Sourento. Uh, this is very delicious. I'm going to enjoy it with my burnt pizza. <laughs> I don't think that's a preferred pairing, but you know. Anyway, thanks everyone and go have yourself an awesome beer.